When Dr. Brenda Milner first arrived in Canada from Manchester, England, her main interest focused on experimental psychology. And then as soon as I got into the lab, into the psychology lab, experimental psychology, I discovered that I loved it. That I loved it because I'm a very curious, inquisitive sort of person and, and I want to know, you know, why people or animals behave in particular ways. And I was learning tools, learning, you know, how you could ask these questions in a meaningful and orderly way. Her career choice changed when, in 1952, she received a Ph.D. from McGill University and the Montreal Neurological Institute for an investigation of the intellectual effects of temporal lobe damage in humans under the supervision of Dr. Donald Hebb. Working alongside such luminaries as Dr. Wilder Penfield at McGill, Dr. Milner became one of the pioneers of the discipline of neuropsychology. Her big discovery, of course, which came out of the paper with Scoville in 1957, which was the uh, loss of recent memory following uh, bilateral removal of the hippocampus, or hippocampal region. Her detailed and methodical long-term studies of patients before and after well-documented brain excisions, particularly in epilepsy cases, have added substantially to the scientific understanding of the structure of the brain and how it operates. The amazing thing that this a patient had not lost, none of these patients had lost anything in their intelligence, their reasoning ability, their comprehension. Uh, that was intact, that what had been acquired already in their knowledge banks and their capacities was intact. And have this in devastating um, memory loss, it's really forgetting your life as it goes on, we call it anterograde amnesia, uh, but no recognition memory, no recall, no continuity. You, you, you try to think for a moment what this means, you lose all the continuity in your life. Uh -huh. I brought uh, methods for analyzing what this patient and patients like him could do and learn and what they couldn't do. Dr. Milner's papers and work have been widely recognized by her scientific peers through numerous awards and honors. Dr. Brenda Milder maintains an enviable reputation as a distinguished lecturer in brain research as the first Dorothy Killam Professor of Neurology and Neurosurgery at MNI and McGill. Her ability as a scientist, uh, as a uh, tireless, uh, tireless scientist, as an energetic scientist, just is communicated so strongly that she motivates people to, to do and to achieve, and she's always done that, and she's done it extremely well. Having a, a research institute doing basic science embedded literally in a hospital, you know, it's, it's a privilege. It's really, uh, and this was Dr. Penfield's dream, I think.